Hey girl, and welcome back to Lumi Skin and Soul. Today I'm super excited to be coming at you with my microneedling routine. I have been putting this off for a while because I just, first of all, I wanted to get a new, what is going on with the lighting situation? I wanted to get a new device. So today we're gonna to be using a Dr. Pen. I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it. We've got all of our supplies laid out here. I'm gonna walk you through how I do everything step by step. And yeah, we'll just get into it. All right, so we've got all of our tools here. So we are just going to get started. First, we're gonna stay hydrated because that's very important. See a chug, send a chug. We've washed our hands. I'm gonna spray them down with some alcohol, just for good measure. I've already washed my face, double cleansed. First, open up our little needle here, a little micro needling cartridge. Now, it's important that you either soak the cartridge in an alcohol little, little cup, or you can just spray it down the last time that I set it in a cup, and usually I do that for clients, but for myself, I'm just going to spray it down. But this is what it looks like. These are from Dr. Pen, and this is the 12 pins cartridge. Pushing the needles forward, and you want to check to make sure that all of the needles are straight and are bent or anything like that. They look good to me. So I'm gonna try to push it out. It'll probably be easier to hold it down. And then I'm just gonna spray the needles. I'm gonna finish prepping my skin. I'm just gonna let this dry. Now you can go ahead and get a little bowl to put in your serums. I'm gonna be using two different serums. The main one you wanna use is a hyaluronic acid. I don't know who's still doing dry needling, but stop, stop. Okay, just stop it. So get yourself a quality hyaluronic acid. This is the one from Image. I really love their products. I would find them pretty affordable or more affordable for a professional grade skincare company. So this is their Eye Enhance. It's their hyaluronic acid one. So I'm gonna be using this primarily, but we're gonna just step it up a little bit with their antioxidant enhancer. I really, really like this. I also like their Kojic one, but this one I find just gives me a really nice glow. Sometimes um, I will even put this just in my regular skincare serums because these are made to do that or as standalone products. So for this service, we are going to be using this primarily for the slip with a little bit of the antioxidants. Also be using their eye peel degreaser solution. She has been a little ran through, we're not gonna judge her. But if you don't have this to properly get all of the oils off of your skin before you do the service, then you can go ahead and use some rubbing alcohol. I like to use like 70%. I don't know if they have a more percentage, but I like to use like a stronger one. So today I'll be using the degreaser. And then, of course, you'll want to get some gloves, some cotton rounds. This will you'll use when you go ahead and apply either your rubbing alcohol or your degreaser. And then, of course, you want your device. So I'm going to go ahead and dispense my serums. And we're taking, I'm going to empty this all out so I can grab about a full dropper. And we'll go ahead and just put it into our bowl. A little bit of our antioxidant. That's about good. Oh, maybe a little bit more. A little bit. They haven't seen me all day and they just wanna hang out. I'm gonna glove up. And we're gonna get to work. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to use my new pen. This is gonna be so great. Take either your degreaser or your rubbing alcohol. I'm gonna give this a good shake. There we go. Put a little bit on our cotton round. And think of our faces in quadrants. So we've got our forehead, our right cheek, our left cheek, and then our chin or perioral area, and then our nose. So we'll go first across the forehead and I'm using a firm pressure because I really want all the excess oils to come off so then after I'm done going across you can go there then I'm gonna come up I'm 
See, look, I double cleanse and there's still stuff on here. Like, that's gross. I'm gonna flip it over because there's some more product on here still. And then same thing with my cheek. Come up. I guess you could go down, but I feel like gravity does enough. Like I don't have time for that. But this is still kind of wet, so we're just gonna use it all around the mouth. I'm kind of getting my nose in here while I'm doing this, but the quadrants are gonna be really important when you start microneedling because the depths are gonna be different. So this is like my problem spot, or spots rather, problem area. And usually the left side is the side a lot of people have problems with because when we're driving, this side is like, like directly exposed to the sun. Go ahead and just sanitize my gloves here. <laughs> I actually don't have one of the essential steps that most people would need, but I don't anymore just because I've just been doing this many times now but that's gonna be a number you want to numb if you are new to this especially because when you go to do your forehead is it's going to hurt okay like that's even the part for me i'm just like Ooh, whoo. this is the one i use it's from amazon after you cleanse you'll go ahead and do your numbing and then you'll take off that numbing you'll just cleanse your skin again with like a gentle cleanser and then you'll go ahead and apply your degreaser. So I'm gonna go ahead and revisit my needle tip here. Looks like there's still a little bit of alcohol in there. I'm gonna press it down and I'm just gonna try to like flick it, like flick it out. So let's see how we're gonna put this on. So go ahead, twist it, secure it, awesome don't want to apply too much serum to your skin because you don't want to clog your cartridge. So again, stir that up a bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply just a little bit because again, we're going to be working in sections. So I'm going to start with, again, my cheek right here is going to be four sections. One, two, three, four. Go ahead and apply the serum. It has six speeds. Okay, we've got it on three. Needle depth at 0.5. I'm gonna stretch out my cheek to keep it taut. Pinpoint bleeding is normal. And we're not going past the orbital bone. So feel where that bone is. You can be right on top of it.
for this area right here. really important that you keep it flush too which is kind of hard on the forehead I find stamping one there we go Oops. say a little prayer In there. Turn this off. Woo! All right, so I'm gonna go take the last of my serum and just rub it on my skin just very gently. I'm gonna leave my skin just like this until I go to sleep. A lot of people ask, if these channels that we've now created are going to be open like now and forever or how long do they usually stay open for? They usually close within a few hours. So tomorrow I should be good to wear makeup. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna kind of leave everything as it is. What I'm actually will do right now. So now we're just gonna lay up under our red light. I would put my goggles on, but I don't want to irritate the skin like where the goggles would fall either on my nose or like on the sides so i'm just gonna close my eyes and i'm just gonna lay here for about mm, probably like 20 minutes and so this is gonna help to reduce that inflammation and just speed up the wound healing from all the little micro channels that we opened so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.